Okay, so overall for this transmission, um, I think for building and installing, um, you gotta be probably somewhat mechanically inclined or be able to follow directions really well. Um, but some things in directions weren't outlined like installing these pieces back here in the frame. Um, I could see it in the two-speed conversion uh, like instructions, but the instructions just to put the normal transmission together with one speed, they didn't show you how to do that. So that was a little bit weird. Um, and there were a few other things, for example, the uh, input shaft, which as you guys saw, I had to kind of um, like machine down with uh, some sandpaper, but um, probably more than likely, your truck won't have that issue or if you buy one of these transmission kits so that was weird it's i mean and if it does happen to you you can probably either just send it back in if you're not comfortable or do what i did and just kind of sand it down enough to where the bearings fit on so um not really a big deal i was disappointed at first at that but um <clears throat> just something to keep in mind and then uh the drive shafts like i said i had to Cut these down I had to change a couple of drive shafts and um, obviously you have to install a bunch of things and so the um, plus side of this transmission is that uh, number one I'm gonna be able to compete with my buddy he's got a TRX for um, at least for speed I believe the axial is a much better truck than the Trax to begin with but um, just as far as the speed goes and it will be nice having the extra speed to be able to get over it pumps and um, just the spots where you need to kind of bump over something and you need that little bit of extra speed so that'll be nice um, as well as uh, the drive shaft angles are better because with this transfer case you have a lot lower um, drive shafts in the truck hopefully you guys can see that but uh can see the drive shaft is literally almost sitting right on the skid plate. Um, not rubbing, but it is very close to sitting right on the skid plate. So that means that, uh, like I said, your drive shaft angles are, are a lot less, which um, is gonna make your drive shafts last longer and uh, make your truck more durable overall. So. I'm gonna go ahead and give this transmission a thumbs up. Even though I had difficulties with the top input shaft of the transmission as you could see in the previous videos i had to machine it down with the drill and some sandpaper not really a big deal um for some of this stuff it's not perfect um you have to i mean i, I guess i could have returned it but um i just made do with what i had and and kind of made it work and um it's, it's no big deal you just got to be kind of mechanically inclined or know what to do when you run into hiccups like that um, <clears throat> otherwise the assembly was pretty simple and straightforward and the directions were pretty good so um, no big deals there um, <clears throat> and uh, this video this is the last video of four videos so if you're on the wrong video or you're looking for some of the previous videos I'm gonna go ahead and leave links in the description to the other videos like I said this is the fourth video out of uh, four videos and um, thanks for watching